Hey guys, it's Colin here at eTrailer, and today we have a 2013 Volvo XC70. We're also going to do a test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system. Now this is a roof rack system that mounts to the race side rails of your Volvo. It's going to allow you to get your favorite rooftop accessories loaded up, whether you've got a bike rack, cargo box, maybe even a kayak. Now this roof rack is going to be great for getting those accessories loaded so you can conserve space on the inside of your vehicle. Up top we have our 47 inch long wing bar Evo crossbars. You can see they have a nice aerodynamic shape to them. That combined with the rubber strip up top is going to help cut down on that wind noise and drag, especially when you compare it to a standard square or round bar roof rack system. You can see we have them in black right now, but if your Volvo would look better with some silver bars, we'll just check out our website. We have that option available. We're also going to have a nice T-slot access point. We don't have to take the end cap off. We can just flip that over and all of a sudden we have access to the T-slot. And what's nice is that we don't have to pull the rubber strip out and cut it to length. We can just slide it in between the rubber stripping all the way to our desired location, tighten it down, and then we'll be good to go. Now right here we have our Evo raised rail feet. These are kind of the middleman between the raised side rails and the Evo crossbars. These are going to have nice rubber padding all the way around that are kind of conform to your raised side rail to make sure it doesn't harm or scratch the finish of them. If we take the end cap off, we can look at the inside. All it's going to be is a bolt right here. You can see this is where we tighten down our roof rack system. You can see it's got a really good hold of our raised side rails right now. Put the end cap back on, you see we have a little plastic lock right here. We can actually replace this with a Thule one key system that will just provide more security for your roof racks. No one can just come up, take the end caps off, and then remove your roof rack. Now something that I really like about this roof rack system is that it's easily removable and easy to put back on. So if you're the type of person to where you don't like having the roof rack system on there, but you want to haul your kayak or a cargo box up there for a long road trip, well then you can just take it off when it's not in use and it'll stow easy in the garage. It's not going to take up too much space. Now I do want to go over some measurements with you guys. First from the top of our roof to the bottom of our wing bar, it's going to be three and a quarter inches. That's going to be plenty of space to be able to get your clamp on accessories underneath your crossbar without risking damaging your rooftop. Now if we go from the top of our roof to the top of our wing bar, it's going to be four and a quarter of an inch. Now you want to keep that in mind because you have that added height to your roof. Now this roof rack system is going to have a 220 pound weight capacity, but do be sure you double check with your Volvo's owner's manual. Make sure your roof can handle that weight before you load it up there. When I've gone over some of those features, let's show you guys how to get this installed. Now we've got the front crossbar installed. We'll show you how to get the back one assembled and installed. It's the exact same process for both of them. All we're going to do is take our Evo raised rail flip and feed it into this bottom track on our wing bar. So we'll just take the notch right there and feed it in. And then we can just take our end cap and put it on and then get it on our roof. Now because we have this little block right here, we're going to go on the back side of it to make sure we get the minimum crossbar spread required. All we're going to do instead of measuring our crossbar spread, we're just going to use a benchmark point. So I'm just going to push the edge of my raised row foot against the little spacer block right here or the support leg. Do that on both sides and then what I'm going to do is push in on my raised rail foot, get this rubber seal really nice and flush with the raised side rail. And then I'm just going to tighten on that bolt with my finger as far as I can get it. And like I said, repeat this for the other side. Now we are going to go ahead and check our crossbar spread because we do need a minimum of 27 and a half inches. So we are over that. I do want to point out how we got our front one in place was we just picked a point at the front of our raised side rail, you can see the point right here. We just measured from there to the edge of our foot on both sides and then tightened it down. So now we'll just take our included tightening tool and get it tightened the rest of the way down. We've already got the other side fully torqued. What's nice is that this included tool is going to let you know when it's fully torqued. Once you hear those audible clicks, you know it's tight enough. So what we'll do is just grab our end cap, put it on. And once you get everything tightened down, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and grab gro both crossbars and then give it a good shake. Just make sure everything is secure. You can see the entire vehicle is moving. So we're, now we're going to be ready to load up our favorite Thule rooftop accessories and then hit the road. 
Well, thank you all for watching. That's going to do it for our test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system on our 2013 Volvo XC70.